what is good viewer today we have another pokemon select articulated figure and these are found at target for 20 bucks and in all language it's lucario thank you french for not having a weird way of pronouncing that this says series two but i'm kind of figuring out the series don't really mean much because i've seen this in series one and series five so i don't they're series so hopefully they do make the charizard because that was kind of lackluster but i will have a review of that but let's do the lucario review right now all right, so Lucario has been released from his plastic prison. And I currently say it, it can't stand... Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Put it in my mouth. It can stand on its own for the most part, which is a huge, huge plus for me, which means that the articulation and the joints are going to be very stiff, in which they are. So that's what that means, yes. So that was the toe articulation. We get a bit of a swivel here. At This is coming from the base, like just under it. And then the knee, and then the... Or the toe and the knee, I guess. It's like three knees, I don't know. We get a little bit right here, a little bit of swivel. Or not, I don't know what that is. I guess that's a swivel, right? Kind of like his like heel. But he doesn't stand like that. He stands up on his toes, so. But anyways, uh, it looks like there should be some articulation here. I can kind of see like a joint, but it doesn't really move. So you just kind of more or less get a swivel out of that point. And you're going to have to kind of move his legs in a way so they all line up so you can actually get that bend right there instead of, you know, like like that. Like his ankle. Got his ankles broke on the basketball court. <clears throat> Dang, sorry. And then you get some hip articulation here, which is doesn't go all the way around. It is a bit limited. Got like that. That for it. Now, while I'm here, this, this blue plastic looks a little cheap. Damn. And he's got a very... You know, I'll get to it later. So, we got some ab articulation here a little bit. I expect a little bit more out of that. Does it swivel at all? Yeah. So, it does swivel, but I expect a little bit more out of the abs. Interesting. No real up and down on the neck. He does swivel. And there's no articulation there on his, I guess his hair. Hmm. And then, uh, right here on the shoulders... Pretty good articulation there. Swivel. What do we get? The double joint here on the elbow, which is really good. Let's see if we can actually use both joints. Or we're just going to use the one. Okay, I got it. A little bit of janky little elbows like they have in Charizard. But for this one, it works a little bit better because he's got a little bit more thickness to him than the Charizard did. And the Charizard didn't really need to have arms that were that long. Anyways, this is the car review. So, the hand says it has articulation. I don't know why it needs it. Oh, holy moly guacamole. I just snapped it off trying to force that. So don't do what I just did. Okay, it snapped back in. He doesn't really need hand articulation, but he does have it there a little bit. And he's got this weird spike. I don't know. I've never really understood. I never really liked the spikes. And this is just personal right there. I never really liked those spikes. Anyways, so overall, before I get my head into the overall mold, let's get to the tail articulation. Don't jump in front of myself. So... What I was about to say, he does have kind of a derpy look on his face. I'm not sold on that. It's not bad, but he's kind of doing like a hmm, like a like a hmm smirk, I guess. Not the great. I don't know why. Can you know? Can someone point out just why he kind of looks derpy to me? Is it because the eyes? Are, I think the eyes need to be moved in. I think maybe they missed on this. Hmm. Like they're too far spread apart. He's like a like a predator. He's like a dog looking Pokemon. The eyes should be more up front instead of like prey, you know, prey animals on the side. So I think maybe that's it. I don't know. Sound off in the comments how you feel about that. Am I off? But he just looks like his eyes are too far apart or something. I don't like I don't like the way that looks. Hmm. Anyways. Uh, I think I was getting into it. I may have already said it. This this plastic here in the hip is kind of cheap compared to the rest. Hmm. Looks like it's like it's on my. I keep saying hmm hmm. <laughs> it looks kind of um like different plastic. This is like maybe hollow. I'm not sure. Anyways, let's get to the stand. Cause I will go off on a tangent and start rambling about stuff, which I'm trying to get better at. But these stands, I love them. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do that in all my videos now. Hear that? Like ASMR. What I'm getting at there is that these are beautiful, well-constructed stands that hold up very, very well. 
and they are great stands for 20 bucks i still can't believe they include these get that tail switch to the other side because they hold the figures very well and they're very sturdy very strong stands well worth the money so that's just kind of something i did in two seconds very sturdy stands as you can see and then i'll put them way up and they always withstand this test just great it's hard to get stands these days at least personally if I feel like it's a personal problem, then I feel like other people probably have the same issue to get stands that work this well that can hold the amount of weight and pressure and stress like these Pokemon Select uh, stands do. I wish that they would just like sell them individually with little um, like clamps on them so I can use them for my other figures because I love these stands. So lately I have been actually measuring these. So this one is going to be just under 7 inches. I know this is not like the best ruler to use, but just under seven inches and a little bit taller than the Tyranitar and the Siswing. So I'm not gonna get into a big log rant like I have with all the other videos. I'm just gonna sit right to it. There is no real scale when it comes to these Pokemon Select figures that I have noticed or found. They all kind of measure up in between Charizard is like five and a half inches, so they all measure up between like five and a half and six and a half figures, like or inches, like this figure has. There's not a real scale to them. I know that Lucario and Charizard and Tyranitar they have to be different heights. They can't all be that similar. And but at the same time, I could be wrong. They do seem to scale well with each other. At least they present well next to each other um, and to other battle figures by Jazzwares. But overall, I'm just gonna say before I get too far into this rant, that there is no real scale. This is just going to be another Pokemon Select figure that I love. I'm going to recommend for 20 bucks. This was what, what, Series 2? I don't remember at this point. But for 20 bucks, you can't go wrong with these. The stand and everything with them, they're a great value for your buck. It's better than buying the SH Figure Arts, which I'm sure is probably, you know, crazy amount. So, but if you need that, the SH Figure Arts is definitely a better figure, quality control and all that. It's going to be a lot better. Um... This is going to be not the best one I've opened, but pretty good. I think maybe when this was made, they just missed these eyes and made them just look a little weird, a little off. But another great figure. Thanks for watching. Please like my other, um, please go watch my other Pokemon select reviews, whatever you want to call them. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Be safe. Peace.